Morning. CBS News National Security Analyst Juan Zarate. Juan, good to speak with you again. Good morning, Chris. Oh, we just hear from Bob there talking about all the substantial amount of information, the files, the documents, the zip, zip drives that were seized in this raid here. Now, I think most would assume with the intellectual power of the government and the intelligence community that it would be pretty quick to decipher a lot of this. But what obstacles is the federal government running up against right now? Well, clearly the CIA is leading a task force to dig deep and, and wide in terms of the data that was picked up. But the problem here is going to be that some of the computer files, as Bob indicated, are encrypted. So that's an initial layer. We'll be able to get through that, but that's an initial barrier. In addition, some of the messages and perhaps records will be likely coded. And uh, analysts will have to look through those coded messages to determine if we understand what those are or if we have historical data that will allow us to unlock the keys of those codes. So it's not just as easy to, to sift through and to, uh, to triage the information. They're going to have to go through a couple of layers of defense that bin Laden may have had for his information. The president's made no secret about it. We've made no secret about it on the broadcast here this morning. These pictures will not be released. You feel that at some point they are going to be uh, released in some way, shape, or form. A, how do you think that's going to happen? And B, how is it going to play out in the Muslim community? Well, it's not clear how it's going to come out, but I think in the age of WikiLeaks, it's inevitable that this kind of information gets out. We've already seen other uh, pictures let out by Reuters from the site, violent images, uh, so it's not clear. But I think that the decision was the right one, because I think you don't want to incite those who would be sympathetic to bin Laden. You don't want to create a mythology of, of martyrdom, which would follow the release of an image, and you don't want to lose the moral high ground here in terms of the narrative and the story. And I think Oh, that's the right decision. The problem is, in the age of WikiLeaks, the image, I think, at some point is going to get out. And unfortunately, then we're going to have to deal with all the same issues. You know, the White House says the U.S. is not in the business of displaying trophies. But there is at least one argument for the release of these pictures, and that is to control the narrative. Now, if these pictures do leak out at some point, like you said, you think they may at some point, is, wouldn't it be in the, the U.S.'s best interest to get in front of this? I think that's right. I think that's, uh, that would have been the, the strongest argument for releasing the photos or some subset of them now, uh, being able to do it tastefully, to be able to uh, bat down any conspiracy theories, to be able to declare to the world that bin Laden is now gone and no longer uh, will walk the earth. And so uh, I think you're going to have to, unfortunately, deal with conspiracy theories. This issue won't go away simply because we say we're not going to put images out. And so I think controlling that message is ultimately an important factor. But I think at this moment, uh, the president made the right call. All right, Juan's riding. Thanks. Good to talk with you again. Thanks, Chris.